Now, you may not want to read everything into just one giant string. You know, that is what this dot read was doing. Just take everything that is in the file, just put it into one giant string uh, variable or string value. And I don't typically like to do that because just as we were seeing with our uh, contents, they're in multiple lines. And just to see that again without the print statement, you're noticing that there's a number of slash ins. Those slash ins on sort of the Windows side of things or sort of in the hidden uh, world of it is those are white space new line uh, special characters. The entire idea there is this is what tells the computer uh, someone hit enter and, you know, go to the next line. So obviously, you know, I, I have multiple lines inside of my program. So instead of working off of the dot read, one of the things that I like to operate with is read lines. Read lines is going to take our contents and instead of it being just one giant uh, folder or string. Oh, I need to contents. And so you can see now everything is inside of a list. And one of the things that, you know, just because I have massive files going on here, one of the things that I like to do is use some slicing to just kind of cut this off as well. So five, this is going to let me see sort of a, a brief idea of what the contents of the file are without just massively uh, going crazy with my my work. But now that I happen to have each sort of line loaded into place, this is where we can start to process our file relatively uh, simplest, uh, simply. So how would I do this? Well, in my case, let's say, for example, I want to get uh, the temperatures uh, in this particular uh, spot uh, in the file. This is temperature readings from a thermostat. So as you can see, sort of there's some spaces going on there. Uh, the new line is going to stay because it's still technically in there. But in this case, uh, I want to get that temperature the entire time. So uh, I would go something like making a temperatures square bracket uh, for row in contents, very similar to how we've handled lists in the past. Uh, let's see, line is going to equal row dot split. And then I want uh, temp is going to equal that line at zero, one, two, three. And I do want that to be an integer just in case, you know, I'm doing some processing with that int and then temperatures dot append uh, temp temperatures five temper. Oh, I didn't temper at sure's. There we are. Temperatures contents split contents. Oh, because it's still there we are. Debugging is always a little fun. I apologize for that. There we go. Okay. So once again, this is how we can uh, process things with read line.